Hi friend, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and something looks a little different today. We got some funny things going on. That's right, it's September and we're having laser month here on Learn Stage Lighting. So not only is September my birthday month, but also my birthday, September 1st, happens to be, uh, which just passed, the annual day when you need to report what laser shows you've done if you use lasers. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself a minute. Lasers can be a part of your stage lighting. And in fact, it's actually never been easier to get into using lasers than it is today. It's never been easier before. And so in this video, I just want to talk about some different types of lasers uh, very briefly and talk about how to use lasers in your stage lighting. Okay, because you might think, okay, there's no way I could jump through the legal stuff or be able to use lasers. And to that I say, it's actually never been easier. Now, if you've been watching here for a while, you may have seen my first video on lasers a while ago, where I worked with the team at X-Laser to come out with a video to how to use lasers in your stage lighting. And you can check that out here. Now, with that said, uh, here I want to talk a little bit more about the artistic side and actually integrating lasers in your lighting and how it works. As you can see behind me, there's really two types of laser effects that we're going to use in a live show. The first, here, I've got a laser scanning through the air. Now, an interesting thing about that is when lasers scan through the air, they typically look better to the eye than they do to a camera. It's harder to get the camera to make it look right, but you can see it scanning across here. I can tell you, it looks cooler in real life. The second type of laser that we can do is a laser projection onto a surface. And so here, we can see here, I've got my name, LawrenceNamesLighting.com, in laser on this black backdrop. Now, the cool thing about that is, okay, I can project images, text, patterns, whatever, onto a backdrop, even a black one like this, and it shows up. You can't do that with a video projector. Let me switch it to a different image just to show you some of the things it can do. Now, a laser like this, as you can see, can make all sorts of integral patterns. Now, how does a laser work? That's actually one of the first questions that you might ask. And so a laser can be kind of this middle ground that's in between video projection and a moving light. And they borrow aspects of both of those. And so the way that a laser works is it's actually a single point that moves very quickly. So to create a fanned kind of cone like this one, this white one behind me, you get it just moves back and forward very quickly. To make a pattern like that, to make shapes, to make things that move, it moves in those shapes as it changes colors and patterns again, very, very quickly. And so then the question becomes, okay, should I use lasers in my stage lighting? And that's a good question. And so to kick off Laser Month, where we're going to talk about a lot of different things here, I just want to start to almost pre-qualify you, kind of say, okay, would lasers make sense for you or not? So here in the U.S., just to, to start things off, if you need to run lasers, and I go over this in my other video, you need what's called a variance, and there's some specific safety rules you need to follow in order to operate. And in my reading and understanding of those rules, you generally want to be someone uh, who has their eyes on the stage who can make sure the laser is operating safely. Now, that person could be the lighting designer, the person running lights, but it's probably not a good idea to um, to be running it as you're playing from stage, okay? So that kind of cuts out the people that are running their show from stage. One more quick safety item. In some areas, you do need a laser safety officer, somebody who's locally certified, in order to run your laser show. Check with whoever you bought your lasers from. If you've bought from X Laser, they know where these locations are and can tell you if you're in one or not. Now, Lasers can actually replace two, three, four, even more moving lights per laser because they have the ability to actually shoot out multiple different beams of light and cut through the air and cut through onto a surface like no other light or video projector can. 
And so when we're thinking about lasers, that's another thing to keep in mind is that, okay, they're not cheap, but today's lasers also aren't that expensive. For the cost of maybe one to two moving lights, you can get a pretty kick butt laser for the size of stage you're using. And so the kind of people that might use this in their lighting are people that have some lights already. They have a decent size lighting rig and they're thinking to themselves, you might be in this position. Okay, I wanna add some more punch to my stage. I wanna do something more dynamic, something more interesting. And I could buy two more moving lights or one. Okay, one or two or three more moving lights. Or I could buy this laser effect. And that's when you can begin to see, okay, this laser thing starts to make sense. Um, not only that, today's lasers are more trouble-free than ever because they're all LED-based, they don't use a lot of power, they don't have sophisticated cooling. All of those things from the, the era of lasers previous that really kept them uh, to a smaller number of shows is now completely unlocked. So, throughout this month, we're going to be talking about what kind of lasers you can use, how you can use those lasers in your stage lighting, uh, what kind of control you can get over these lasers, whether you're trying to write words or pictures on walls or do cool scanning effects across the crowd. And we're also going to talk about the safety and how to make lasers look really great. And we'll also point you to the additional stuff that we have on lasers, the additional resources inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Sound good? Hop over to LearnStageLighting.com and be sure to subscribe here if you're new. Over on the site, I've got a free guide to begin with lighting that I want to get into your hands to get you started. Awesome. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you guys back here next week where we're going to keep talking even more about lasers. I'll see you there. Thanks.